what's up my people how will i deal with thing they happen within the sub welcome back to our channel guys have you asked yourself this question as big as kiss daniel is in nigeria he he tops the charts each time he drops something each time he, he drop a body of work a song work project whatever it still trends at least for a few days you know but we all know that kiss daniel is very good very talented good songwriter good singer what is happening what do you think is keeping this guy or stopping this guy from trying that out i'm talking about giving it a shot the auto arena like 20k capacity upwards is he his team or what yes because i'm curious i feel like this guy has a lot of fans in the uk in the us so what's keeping him leave your thoughts in the comment section below um, oh, by the way, um, if you are still interested in joining our business group uh, where we discuss business ideas and investment chances, and you can even promote your stuff to find potential buyers, wait. You should know there are some rules to follow. Also, sometimes, because this is new, we we'll sometimes bring in successful business owners or guests to tell us their stories. All right now, our main gathering happens just once a month but don't worry we still you know chat in the whatsapp group every now and then to share important stuff you know we just had our first meeting and it was really cool we had business folks um people who want to start businesses and investors all talking yes i'm going to leave the link uh to join in the comment section below for only only for those people that are interested Okay, um, this next one, I think we've talked about something like this before, um, about these preachers or evangelists going on the street and disturbing the peace of the neighborhood. Personally, if your speaker is not that loud, loud, since I'm a Christian, you know, you can say I'm being biased here, but if it's too loud, that is where, you know, I have like serious problem with it. But I understand some people are totally um, not okay with something like this, especially early in the morning. Uh, this case is about a man, a Nigerian man who slammed a pastor for preaching the gospel like the on the streets the at around 5 30 a.m in the morning and that, that man actually walked outside and confronted the preacher who was obviously using a speaker this is 5 30 mm -hmm. this is what black people said, like to speak to his children this is what we're to so go on cutting mass i'll be sure um, please, that you, man has a responsibility me, to repent from his sin. You know this hour you pray there are people that are sleeping, reading, things or other things. What yes, kind of right or authority do you have to be disturbing people in the sleep by this time of the day? The authority I have is in Matthew chapter 28. Which, 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 which authority is that? Which Matthew chapter that it the authority that Jesus gave me. Which authority would Jesus gave you such authority? The Jesus, the man, the man has... You don't have any authority from the government. You are disturbing people by this time of the day. This yeah. is fine. You, you came here around around five or five thirty. Disturbing people sleep. So some people sleep. Is that what you guys do here? Which kind of word of God is that? What kind of word of God is that? Why can you come up with this money like this and be making noise on people? So I'm not making noise. I'm pushing the gospel. This is very, very wrong. This is very, very wrong. What kind of rubbish is this? People right. cannot have their sleep anymore? No. Is that a deal in Africa? Yeah? What kind of, sort of nonsense is this? No, I'm there re re reading my books. I have an exam. I'm leaving up tomorrow and I have an exam to go up. I, I, this public address system is there messing up my brain that you are, you, are, you are preaching. What sort of preaching is this? Please, can you move this in a little bit further? Take this in a little bit further, please. If I come back here and you, you continue with this noise, I'm going to pour water on this thing. This is the last warning I'm giving you. Let me not get so much noise next time giving you this is let me not get so much noise morning. next time you this said jesus gave you such authority this morning, jesus gave you authority and africa is like this what has jesus done to africa to what knowledge are you passing to i don't need this this is my vicinity okay, so and i don't need noise if i get you here you make this first note i'm going to call the police for you take this away from here the next one 
we've got the controversial um bb ninja housemate shei awolowo this guy faces backlash for making sexist remarks about girls during a conversation with white money soma and pere um he, su he suggested that his son and friend's son could engage in inappropriate behavior with others daughters now the the lagos state domestic and sexual agency dsva released a statement condemning Shea's comments for perpetrating you know harmful attitudes and contributing to a culture of violence and abuse the agency also criticized white money soma and pere for their passive response now they even highlighted actually you know the importance of actively speaking up in such situations who are those keeping Shea in the house look at the votes here <laughs> or is big brother ninja scripted look at before we get to that that scripted part you can see here 1.95 percent kid wire 2.03 uh, percent dollar knee badge um 2.66 percent shay the reason why i think that this is scripted is because they release <laughs> an apology they call it um shay awolowo pre-recorded um apology they release an apology video why this guy is still in the house obviously it didn't it's not a recent video because it's in the house are you saying that this whole big brother ninja thing is not scripted maybe these guys are just playing us his team put release this um pre-recorded apology uh video but remember that we are all human beings it's essential to to acknowledge our shared humanity we as housemates have our dreams our aspirations and flaws we have good days and we definitely have bad days we strive to grow learn and evolve just like everyone else i mean we are human beings it's vital to remember that the personas we project on screen are just fragments of our lives. We make mistakes and we learn from them. And with that, we continue to grow. So I ask for your understanding and empathy. Remember that being, being in the spotlight, I mean, honestly, we are human beings with emotions, vulnerabilities, and personal journeys. Please, and eh, with all of you may, understand that we may not always live up to the ideals you may have of us. We may falter, make choices that you possibly will not always agree with or fall short of your expectations. But it is in these moments that we need your support the most and understanding in the highest. It's like everybody's criticizing this guy on social media. Then who are those people keeping him in the house? Now, apart from that, even... Um, Kemi Olun lawyer actually reacted to that. Uh, she said that she doesn't need to be disqualified because what he said is true. Do you agree with this lady, Kemi Olun lawyer? Let us watch this video. Everybody are saying that she spoke wrong. That's bullshit. He didn't. If he wants to raise boys that are going to go for those kind of girls, well, so be it. Because some of those girls like that life. And that's what we have to face. A lot of these girls have parents at home who are doing nothing about their sex and prostitution life. So if a celebrity says, yeah, you know, I want to raise my boys to go for the Shea. Shea does not need to be disqualified for what he said. What he said is true. Yesterday, a friend of mine went to Ikeja City Mall. She called me here and told me that it was just girls, young Generation Z girls around the block, lined up ready for hookups. What's the meaning of that? Does any of you not see that? Does Tiwa Savage and everyone promoting this nonsense doesn't see that? Tiwa Savage said, go for a man that lavishes you. Go for this. Go for... You know, they're promoting out this bad prostitution life. But you don't have anything to say, right? Okay, Tiwa Savage is singing a song, Sex Tape Ole Baye Mije. She has a son who's going to grow up and become a teenager, and then one of his teenage friends will play that song and say, Look at your mom. Where is the limit? Where do you have the limit? Where do you stop these things, guys? So, for all this, we've got Erica who said, So you all really like misogynistic shit. 
um, outrage on social media about voting for him in real life. I pity the daughters of the next generation. Well, moving on to the next one, still on Big Brother Ninja. Here we have <laughs> my people. All I just want to say is things they happen. Uriel talking about Perez body parts, and he said Perez got a big D that she saw it. It's not like they had a thing or sexual intercourse. She said, you know, everybody. Some people walks naked, or sometimes you know they barge into some someone that is naked. I guess that's how she was able to see it. Whose arm are you talking about? She naked. <laughs> what did I say about arm? Oh yeah. He said he pulled the arm. He pulled the arm. Perez. Because we shot one together. Perez, fuck you know. I saw it and I turned my face quickly. And I had to say, I had to speak in tongues. I like, you should fuck at your mouth. Ah, hey, salute to the general. Woo. General is really general. <laughs> Generally. <laughs> I thought it was Neo. I wanted to clear that I'm real quick to be sure. Because you pointed at somebody else and then you said it. So I wasn't sure you were no, still talking about Neo. Pere right? is packing. Pere is. Bimba. Ah. Bimba Karaka. Now, Avika actually reacted to that. But she didn't mention names. She said, the person who slut shamed me has spent the last few weeks talking to media about different guys' body parts. Wow. <laughs> Wahala. Moving on to the next one, guys. I don't know how to describe this, but this is a man from the Caribbean uh, who said that he regrets coming to Canada. Well, over to those of you in Canada. I mean, don't tell me that it's that hard in Canada. All the money that you're supposed to use, you know, to build something or buy assets, you're using it to pay rent and do all the things in Canada. Living in Canada with nothing to show for it. Please, those of you that stays in Canada, or if you've been to Canada before, you know how they live. Let me know. Is this man right or partially right? Listen to his reasons. Um, we have another video after this of um, a Nigerian man who sells agege bread in Canada. But first, let us watch this video. What is the biggest thing you regret in life? I regret in life? I regret coming to Canada. Because if I had stayed in the Caribbean, I would have been way better. I came to Canada. I worked, I don't know, maybe 20 years. I had to go back to my country seven years living here for 20 years seven years in my country give me enough money to buy two properties in canada cash seven years seven and still 20 years you're just paying rent and nothing it tells me canada is just a trap i own property and it's hard for me to imagine people who are from different countries for the first year and, and you're wasting your time you're going to stress that you're going to go crazy and you're going to die in less than 10 years when in your country which would have been harder you live for another 40 50 years no matter how bad it is in your country it's only going to get worse here i'm telling you the truth i travel i travel the world i live a good life all kind of stuff idea of canada is to get out of canada not get in and i've realized that in between america and canada the people who are living back in their country are living better than us who are living over here here is a Nigerian man who traveled to Canada years ago, I mean, to settle down. But they're so lucky to have been able, you know, to set up a good and thriving business. Yes, business is booming, obviously. And they make money, thousands of dollars, from selling agege bread. You know agege bread? Yes. Now, it is available in over 300 African and Caribbean stores in Canada. And they have different branches let us watch this video so sometimes in 2017 shortly before my wife before we had our last born my wife was pregnant so she was cra craving for bread all she wanted to eat was bread and sardine so that was what led to where is agege bread where is nigerian bread and all the bread available in the market like i said the Ghanaian bread tasting so close to our bread but not exactly what we wanted or what she wanted I was enjoying it anyway, but she wanted that Nigerian bread taste, you know, and that's why we started thinking of, okay, if there's none and the Nigerian population is growing here, why, how come nobody has ever thought of starting a Nigerian bakery since we have a large community, a relatively large community, you know, 
and that's where it all started from. To establish the bread business, he traveled back to Lagos, Nigeria's commercial nerve center, to learn the nuts and bolts of agege bread making at a modest bakery. Um, so this next one is Solid Star. I, I talked about, you know, the news about him being on the street yesterday uh, or in the previous video. Kemi Lone Lawyer herself actually reacted to that, saying that, um, you know, Solid Star's mental health uh, due, is due to extensive crystal meth and weed smoking. This drug that has turned Solid Star and many others into psychosis is crystal methamphetamine. Crystal methamphetamine is a very, very dangerous crystalline, crack-looking derivative of methamphetamines. It is highly addictive. People smoke it, they're high, and it's highly addictive. In Igbo land, we saw a lot of young children killing their parents, stealing money, selling cars. One young man killed his father for 50,000 naira, which he stole from the house and sold the car just to get the next kick of crystal meth. It's very, very addictive. It takes over your brain. Another young man chased his mother into the village square, tied her to the tree. I don't know whether he wanted to burn the woman. I don't know, but that was his mother. These two young men lost their lives because the villagers came together, subdued them, and killed them and lynched them. We don't want people lynched. We want people educated. And that's why I made the appeal that the president must give me this position I created. Special advisor to the president. This is creating quite a buzz on social media. Um, here we have Spyro. I mean, Spyro made it clear um, after releasing Who's Your Guy, that um, it will never put out videos showing naked girls or half-naked girls or girls showing off a lot of skin that you will never see it in his video. Now, in, his, in a recent interview, podcast, he's got this to say. Um, yeah, let us watch it together. A lot of women complain that I don't see husband, I don't see husband. You know, say when, when man come your page, you get within reasonable man they look for. And I don't see you don't do this thing. But the there are first men thing, that like it. When there are men they are on serious men. Who told you? There are <laughs> men that love it that they will even bring it. No, that's what hearts. you think. No, no, nobody should tell me that's what see, I think. See, let me tell it's you happens. something. Let me it's tell happens. you something. Let me tell you something. I, I, a reasonable man that wants to keep his fat, we won't get home. correct home. Be doing it for me in the house is fine. You put it, you're putting it on social media. Public consumption. For pop, do you understand? Once I just, that's one, one of the things that guys do. Once they click on your page, they can already tell what they are pushing to you. Okay, mm -hmm. I, was, I will just sleep with this girl. Mm -hmm. What you're selling no is what I want to buy. No more hey, that's 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 exactly. And, and so I would say, okay, <laughs> I would, this is someone that I would love to marry. There are some ladies that I don't even talk to them, but the decency around them, the, it doesn't mean that they are good people. But I just appreciate the decency around them. You can tell, and you can tell a lot by someone's social media page. page. When you go to someone's page and you see there's this uh, uh, thing that women do, that you hold. Uh, <laughs> 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 okay, do you know the funny thing? What's that? <laughs> but do you know the funny thing? I mean, what does that do <laughs> for you? And you can tell a lot. Now, I agree with what he said. No, to be honest, look, I'm a guy. I've got you know crazy friends and i've got cool friends and those that goes to church and they are mixed right now there's one thing that is common in this very very common in our conversation where we talk about something like this or we treat a lady based on how the lady carries herself period if you carry yourself like an olushu we will treat you like an olushu right we won't there's no way the guy accepts a mistake or the lady forced herself on the guy and the guy gets hooked. But to be honest with you, it's how you carry yourself, how you present yourself. If you live a decent life, right? And the guy knows that your decency is pure. Your decency is real. You're not faking it because time reveals a lot of things. Your decency is real. That guy, that guy will want to keep you, period. He will want to be because he knows he might be he might even be the baddest guy right but there's always that one person that a guy wants to keep and it's always the decent the ones that we perceived 
decent, no matter how beautiful you are, if they feel like you are out there for the public, they get to your page, you're flaunting those things, those, um, your bosoms and, you know, dressing and showing a lot of skin and dressing like you don't care. And again, your lifestyle, you smoke and you, you smoke and you drink, even a guy that smokes. Most of my guys that smoke don't want to be with a lady that smokes. That's how crazy it is. Like, I'm just being real. The guys that, yeah, you can be drinking and don't, depends on how much drink you even consume, right? But trust me, even the baddest guy who said that. Now, it's up to you as a female. That's why you see some females, who, they might have done that, but because they are looking for true love, some of them just dump it and be like, no, I'm looking for true love. It is because of something like that. This is reality. Now, there are some, there are some other guys that don't care. But I'm telling you, a lot of these guys, especially in Nigeria, just want to have fun, sleep with you, and that's it. Once they know that this person is serious-minded, you know, this person is this, is that, and they are... They feel like they are ready to settle, except they are not ready to settle. And they feel like they are ready to settle. Yes, that girl is the person that they will want to keep. Majority of them. And I've seen this happen. Some of my guys that are married now, their previous life was wild. And the person they married now, it's so cool. And I think right now, females are doing the same thing. Yes, because it's really crazy out there. So females are doing the same thing right now. The guy that they want to you know be with they watch him as well they know what they yeah yeah i think it's changing <laughs> the whole thing is changing now they watch him well they know that oh this guy is decent this is the person i want to keep and they they try all their possible best to be with that guy yes it's i think it's the same thing both ways but more from the the guy he doesn't smoke he doesn't drink he don't get tattoo he no carry dread you know they carry different girls. Please, where can I see him? You can find him anywhere. I get the perfect guy for you. He doesn't smoke, he doesn't have dread, he doesn't have tattoo, he doesn't this, he doesn't that, he doesn't have everything. He's very perfect. I want to introduce him to you. Just tell us say you won't marry Pastor Chris or Pastor Kumui. You don't understand. He doesn't smoke, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't. Yes, um, guys, but let me know what you think in the comment section below because I might be wrong. Moving on to the next one, um, this uh, video, I just stumbled on it, of Speed Darlington reacting to Whiskey Mother's death. It is really sad, but what Speed Darlington said here is really deep. That is my greatest fear. The greatest fear, losing your parents. Eventually in the future, it will happen. I want to be old with them, <laughs> you know? Uh, because I don't know how it's how I'm going to feel. Anyways, let's watch this video. Hey, I they tell God, I beg, before it go happen, make it be so I don't owe to myself, so that you not go tell I go full on. My heart can't handle being by myself. Now we tell I beg, because before now, bagam, ko oru kwa na min den ka katalanka. At my heart, oh my God, bro, I don't show any picking any woman where. I born or marry can ever stand measure up to my mother. No, no, no child, no wife can measure up to my mother. We taught her immediately a long time ago. So I can I cannot imagine what Whiskey is going through right now. You are experiencing my greatest fear in life. My greatest fear in life. He's losing my mother. Massive shout out to Whiskey, yo. Yeah. Stay strong, bro. Stay strong. Stay strong. That's all I can say. Massive nigga, boo mogi Because that's what I think I'm going to do, my man. How long? So all I can say is stay strong, right? So stay strong, bro. Stay strong, whiskey, for real. I can't, I cannot imagine your pain. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like this video, subscribe. Until we see you next time, peace.